RCDSB Tech Academy. Think, talk, tech, quick clips. Hi there. Welcome to the RCDSB Tech Academy. In this series of videos, we will explore some of the features to help you make the most out of our e-library. The e-library makes electronic books available to all students and staff of the RCDSB anytime, anywhere, from any internet-enabled device. There are thousands of titles available now, so grab a device and let's take a closer look. In this video, we will look at some of the basics of the e-library. We'll explore how to access the e-library, log in, search for a title, and read a book inside a web browser. To find the e-library, we can go under Students and e-library solutions. There are a couple of options and ways that we can access e-books, but what we will look at today is how to access books directly through OverDrive. After clicking the icon, you will be prompted to log in, and all you need to do here is use the first part of your Google login, or the regular credentials that you use for logging into school computers. Everything in your Google email address before the at symbol. Your password will be the same password that you use for logging into all other RCDSB services and devices. This is the home page for our OverDrive ebook collection. And from here we can find titles to read a number of different ways. It will always start with the most popular category, and we can start scrolling through and finding titles directly from the screen. I can also go by subject, so if I'm looking for a particular thing in children's fiction, graphic novels, or science and nature, I can go directly to that subject heading and browse through books. Another easy way to find books that I might be interested in are underneath levels. I can go to interest level, or if I know my reading level, I can refine the search that way. Otherwise, if I know the title, author, or subject of a book that I would like to search for, I can type it in. The search results populate here, and I can start looking at books. And if I see one that I would like to read, I know it's available because the book in the upper right hand corner of the screen image is black. If it's not available, if somebody else has it checked out now, that little book would be grey. But when I scroll over, I see the word borrow, and I'm going to borrow this title. If the book was grey and not available, I would have the option to place it on hold, but we will explore that in another video. Once I borrow a title, it appears on my bookshelf, and there's a couple of things that I have to notice. Right here it says expires in 14 days. All that simply means is that at the end of 14 days that book will automatically be returned into the collection and will disappear from my bookshelf, making it available for other people to read. Over here on the right hand side I can see that I currently have a checkout limit of 4 with one item checked out. I can also set 3 items on hold, but again we will talk more about that in a later video. Right now what I would like to do is read this book, and I'm going to read it in my browser. The download option is here and available for people using their own device in conjunction with the OverDrive app. So on school devices, and even on your personal device, you can simply read this book inside your browser by clicking here. The title will open in a new tab, and we're now ready to read, simply by clicking on the side of the page to flip the pages. On any device, if I would like to have this book available for offline reading, I can just leave the title open inside this tab of the web browser. As long as I don't close the tab or the browser, the book stays cached inside the web browser and I can read it even if my device goes offline. Now that I've read it to this point on this device, if I was to leave this device and go to another device or a computer at home, when I go back to the book it opens at the exact same spot that I left off, so there's no need to put in a bookmark. If I'm finished reading the book, all I need to do is press the X on the tab and the book will go away. To get to your bookshelf, if you are coming into the library for the first time, the place that you need to look is under the account icon. When I go to the account icon, I'm taken to my bookshelf where I can see all the titles that I currently have checked out. And I can continue to read those titles inside my web browser. If I am finished with a book or I simply would like to clear some space on my bookshelf, I have the option to return the title right here. So those are the basics of using the e-library. 
We have looked at how to access the e-library, how to log in, search for, and read a book inside your web browser. There's lots of titles to explore here. Start reading and have fun.